so we are on our little nighttime walk with the dogs. I am also going to stop by Olive Young because I need to pick up a few skincare things. Oh my god, guys, so I was looking around and they sell bee play here. I talked about this brand on Instagram and I really like them. I really like this. This is their ampule. I'll show you guys later, but wow. Oh my god, they have sunscreen? Oh my gosh, guys, it's over here too. I was actually looking for a cleanser um, and I love their foam cleanser and I'm actually running out, but I needed a cleanser to get on the plane and I thought that this was over three ounces, but it's 2.7, so it's perfect. I can take it with me on my trip that I have coming up. Hi guys, so I'm just getting ready because got some friends coming into town. But I did want to say thank you to Be Plain um, for partnering with me on this video. You guys saw last night when I went to Olive Young, you guys saw me like talking about them a little bit. Also, you might have seen me talk about them on Instagram. I really love this ampule, which I'll talk about later. I used already like half of it, but Be Plain is a Korean skincare company and they're all about like really simple, clean beauty. And they actually come from this brand called, or sorry, not brand. They come from this company called Birdview. Birdview owns Huahe Beauty app, which um, basically the app like shows you the beauty products that are on the market. And what's really cool is that, but basically they actually use the data from the Huahe Beauty app um, because they talk about the beauty market or the skincare market and like trends and stuff. And so they use all of that to create Be Plain. Anyways, I thought that was really cool and interesting. And I think like a month ago, they sent me their Green Fool series. And the main ingredient of this Green Fool series is mung bean extract. And mung bean extract is like known for like detoxifying or purifying. But I already washed my face. Um, I use the Be Plain Green Fool pH balance cleansing foam. So this is actually the number one cleansing foam at Olive Young and on Huahe. And like I was talking about earlier, this cleansing foam is made from mung bean extract and mung bean powder. So like I was saying, mung bean is is very well known to be like purifying for the skin, detoxifying. And back in the Shila dynasty in Korea, they actually used mung bean a lot because of these detoxifying properties. It also has a pH of 5.5 to 6, so it's very suitable, comfortable for the skin. And after like testing, they saw that it was very efficient about cleaning away like fine dust. And just like my personal thoughts is, I think I've said this before, but a big thing for me when I use cleansers is like right after um, I like wash it off, I don't like my face feeling like really like tight, if that makes sense. And this one is just really gentle. It doesn't leave that like tight feeling on my skin. I haven't put anything on yet. It doesn't feel like dry or anything. Just clean. Okay, I'm excited. So this is my favorite. This is the Be Plain Cicatarol Ampule, which I usually use after the cleanser. I've already used like half of it. You guys know like in all of my skincare videos, I always talked about how I loved like my exfoliants. I would always use like AHA, BHA, and I really felt like at that time where I had a lot of acne, exfoliants were super helpful in terms of like resurfacing my skin and stuff. And because of that, I keep it in my skincare routine very regularly. So when I heard about LHA, which I never heard of until I got this product. So this Cicatero Ampule does have LHA, sorry. Um, and LHA is a gentle exfoliant, a very gentle exfoliant and I honestly really love it I think that now that my skin is obviously like all better um, knock on wood I really prefer using a more gentle exfoliant another thing is like so last week I had my period and like right before I have my period slightly into my period I get like a lot of um, pimples right here but because I had been using this pretty consistently like two to three weeks before, I felt like I didn't really get like any pimples or like any bumps that could become pimples, if that makes sense. Also another thing, sorry, I really like this product, um, but Be Plain also did tell me that um, they did like a lot of testing for these products. And one of the results was that for the ampule, they did see like within 10 minutes, there was two times a soothing effect for damaged skin and then two times an improvement in like the skin barrier. This also has Centelica Asiatica, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know, but it's really great for like generally, I guess, for the skin barrier. 
Okay, so I like to put on the moisturizer really quickly after putting on the exfoliant, so I will apply and talk, but this is the Cicatarol moisturizer. I think I showed this in another video, but I don't know if I talked about it too much, but I've been using this a lot lately. This moisturizer leaves my skin feeling very moisturized, hydrated, like dewy. Love moisturizers where I don't feel like I need to apply like a ton and then they just leave my skin feeling very like supple. So this has madocasicide, which helps for inflammation, redness, um, pimples, and then panthenol for hydration. As you guys can see, it has like, I guess it's hard for you to see, but it has like this gel texture, which I really like. It's very, very light on the face. Now that the wetter is gonna get warmer, I'm like moving towards these like lighter moisturizers, so okay. So this is my skin after. Anyways, to summarize, cleansing foam, love, ampule, major love, and then the moisturizer. So I'll leave a link to all these products down below. Um, if you're in Korea, you can find them in like Olive Young. But if you guys are from America or Canada, you can get Be Plain on Amazon. Anyways, I'll link it all down below. Thank you so much to Be Plain for partnering with me on this video and giving me time to like try the products out. I'm very, very grateful and I really do appreciate it. I got these at Olive Young. I prefer these like little sponges compared to the big cushions that come in these compacts. I'm a little stressed this week, but everything will be okay. <laughs> I'm watching this Taiwanese show called Copycat Killer. And it's really good, you guys should watch it. But I'm watching it with Jimmy, and there's this character without giving too much away who basically has a lot of feelings, but isn't like, doesn't like express them well. He seems just very like to himself about like almost like any feelings. And we were watching it, and Jimmy was like, Wow, you really remind me of this character. <laughs> Anyways, I felt really bad because like, he was saying how so he's like sometimes I get scared that like you just hold on to things and like never talk about them and anyways he's just worried that like I just don't say it when I feel something like bad he just thinks I like keep it inside but it's funny because like right after he said that the character was like what's the point you know if I share or don't share these feelings like nothing is gonna change like what is is it what is is and i related to that so much because that's actually like why i don't bring things up or feel the need to like talk about things because i'm like i talk about it like to myself first so i'm always like okay xyz like this is why you're mad this is why you're sad like what what can we do about this and then i'm like well if i do this and this will happen if i do this and this will happen and if I go through all the scenarios, the scenarios where I do talk about my feelings and I don't, I don't think that anything will really come of it. I don't feel like I have the need to share those feelings, I guess, which I didn't really know about myself until last night. <laughs> Jimmy's face when I said that was like, so I told him that I would try to be better about sharing my feelings. I feel like people are very surprised when they when I say that I'm not very good with my emotions because because I do, or before I did, a lot of like the heart to Hannah stuff, I feel like people like kind of had this like impression of me that I was very emotional, I guess. But I think if you asked people in like my real life, I think they would describe me as like a very loud person, but not a very like emotional person. But for the sake of my relationships, I am working on it. I don't like like that about myself. Also, if I like talk about sad things and I smile, even on YouTube, it's not because I'm like happy about what I'm talking about. It's just, I smile when I feel uncomfortable. I love bronzer. Oh my gosh, I was just talking and I wasn't recording. Anyways, I was trying to tell you that I finally found my liquid lipstick that I've been looking for. In that lip video that I did, I was like, oh, I love the Huda Beauty bombshell. But then I couldn't find it. But I found it again. That's all I wanted to tell you. <laughs> okay, I'm like literally sweating already. Oh my god, no, you've been working Why out. Why are you sweating? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Go. Yeah! You gotta like, you gotta, you know what she did? She slipped under. I can't. Oh, you can't? <laughs> you gotta get lower. We're she needed low. it really low too. We're like real low. You see me at the club? Yeah. <laughs> ready, ready? Here you go. <laughs> 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 
Okay, okay. Ready, set, go. Okay, okay. Ready? Go. You're pooping. He's literally, he's giving up. I don't even need to break out. I just need to wait long enough and then she's gonna like feel so cringy. Okay, go. Okay, guys, I really want your. Okay, go. I don't even want to. You guys are oh, strong. I know. <laughs> <laughs> take a bunch we're hot we're doing a congrats oh no do it to jimmy we're having a congratulatory night for them because they got engaged okay regular one <laughs> 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 wait cat this is like black pink house just act like you're on a reality show <laughs> So this morning, I went to the vet again. She got microchipped yesterday. I had to go back again because Kiki started her period and I have never raised a girl dog before. So I don't know what that looked like for a dog. Anyways, he said that yes, I confer he confirmed that yes, she's on her period. And it lasts about two weeks and also did like a more in-depth like checkup of like her you know, vaginal area and stuff. And she is about 10 months, actually, he said. He told me at first that he thought she was around one to two years, but um, he's about 10 months, or she's about 10 months. Anyways, so we're gonna get her spayed. He told us to wait about a couple months to get her spayed, so we're gonna do that and just be careful with her while she's in heat. Man, one week before my wedding, and she's causing a lot of new events. <laughs> But it's okay. She's a cutie. We're about to head up to Namsan right now because Kat and Corey and Ben and Wenny and Jimmy and Haku are all up there because I didn't want them to like hang around with Kiki. I wanted them to go like explore and stuff. So I'm about to meet them up there. <laughs> Say hi. You sound like my dad. Oh my God. <laughs> Justin. Oh. Wenny. <laughs> wow, this is a great <laughs> vlog. Hi. <laughs> I have to burp. Oh, no. 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 Packing these really cute little 
condition bottles so you drink these in korea like before before you start drinking so that it like helps with like the hangover and my wedding is soon so like we're having an after party so i made these like or i bought these little things and i put little ibuprofens in them in case anybody gets a headache and you can drink this condition but anyways, and it's so cute. They're like little after party favors. So I just finished packing like four boxes of these and then I need to take like all of this down to the car. Jimmy's actually hiking to Namsan with Kiki and um, our family plus his family. So he's like kind of doing all of that while I do this. I'm really trying to balance spending time with like my family and spending time with my friends because like this is a very far trip for them to make and I just wanna make sure that I'm like giving like people like quality time because I don't think during the wedding or like the after party I'm gonna be able to like really individually spend time with people so I'm really stressed so all of these bags are wedding favor bags I mean we need to pack one more box but I figure while I'm packing these I'll let you know about Kiki so I think we actually decide um, have decided to adopt her um, because we've put like um, an ad on like Carrot Market and Facebook and blah, blah, blah. Reached out to a bunch of people in the neighborhood to like see if anybody knew her because we're pretty like tight with a lot of the community in the neighborhood. But no one knows who she is. So she wasn't microchipped. She wasn't spayed. So um, we've decided to adopt her because her and Haku have been getting along quite well. I know a lot of people are actually pretty interested in adopting her. Um, but we do feel like we're the best fit for her as a family and she fits in really well with us. But what a turn of events. Like me and Jimmy have always talked about getting a second dog, but we can never like bite the bullet and do it because we were just really worried about Haku and like making sure that, you know, Haku is still happy. But it turns out that the dog that we just were, I guess, destined to meet was just a great fit for Haku. So at this point, we're like, OK, she feels like our dog. We should keep her. So while me and Jimmy were out today, I haven't gotten her new bowls yet, but those are coming. I did get her this mat from Koriko Cafe. It's a Kiki's Delivery Service themed cafe, and look how cute it is. I, me and Jimmy saw it, and we're like, oh my god, this is so cute, so we had to get it for her. So she has her own little mat to eat on. I also got her a new harness and leash from Owoo Pets because I really like their style of like dog walking gear. Got her this harness in this peach color. You like it? You love me? You gonna chew on it? You can't chew on it, baby. And then I got her like everything matching. So I got her an air tag holder. This is the leash. It's all this really beautiful pink color. This is her collar. Oh my goodness, you are gonna look so beautiful. Wow. Look how pretty you look. Look at you. You're just the prettiest little girl. Let's try the harness now. I got her a new harness, okay? It looks cute on her. You didn't think I saw it when I opened up the package? Gotta loosen it. Hold on, don't mind it. Did you get a new harness that's pink? Yeah. <laughs> she did. You did? <laughs> and you got a new placemat today. Mm -hmm. I showed I showed them. How cute it is. Yeah. Oh my god, Before and then later we'll get after. <laughs> And let me introduce you to my herd. A Jenny. A sister. These two are here. They're just, I don't know. They're like they're like the weeds I need to. <laughs> this, I have two more pieces of my herd. A cat. And a Winnie. <laughs> She's like, I panicked. Also, I think the reason why you think her is like her her voice naturally is like a whisper. Oh.
So this week, Jimmy doesn't um, have to work because he took a week off after the wedding. Um, Paco went to daycare today and we just did a little training session with Kiki. Trying to teach her her name and just, you know, like getting her used to like a lot of construction sounds and she's actually like doesn't need that much help with all that. She's pretty smart sometimes. But we're grabbing some bagels to go and then we're going to go get some coffee. I need to go to the immigration office today. Got to renew my visa. And then I have a lot of work to catch up on, to be honest. So post-wedding blues. But it's such a beautiful day. Is it a beautiful day? Yeah. You recognize him now? She's like, no, I know the bagels. Yes, those are bagels. You don't make me feel special. <laughs> Come in. Not bagels. Breakfast date. Mm -hmm. No anthracite. First post wedding date. Wow, first date as my wife. We've been married for two years, actually. And I haven't taken another date since. Mm -hmm. Please, just, just a piece. Please, uh, I got, oh man, I got sauce on her head. <laughs> done with the appointment wait let me check that i know where i'm going and if you have like all your paperwork ready and all filled out it's not hard um but i would just make sure that you like have everything and also another thing is like when you go to renew you have to go into this like room first that's in the entrance to pay you don't like pay at the counter and i knew that but like the lady at the counter was on her lunch break so like I didn't know if I had to use a machine to buy stamps. It was a whole thing. I had to get a refund. It was complicated. But anyways, um, made it out. It's not that bad. Don't book it at one because it's kind of annoying that um, you can make an appointment at one. But you have to buy your stamps before you get your uh, your appointment number called. And I was like, my appointment's at one and her break time's from 12 to 1. So I was standing there like, please open early, which she did. So that was nice. But I would recommend booking your appointment not at one. Anyways, going home. Okay guys, um, I'm actually traveling right now. I was just editing the video and I really quickly wanted to say again, thank you so much to you guys and to Be Plain for partnering with me. I did bring them with me on the trip. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And if you do, just let me know. And I guess I'll see you in the next vlog.